we got to talk. I mean, grocery inflation, prices up, depending on whose measurement you believe, let's just call it up 10% over the last year. And depending on how long the war in Europe goes on, we could see meaningfully higher grocery prices ahead. So I don't want you to end up needlessly throwing away food out of your pantry or out of your refrigerator or freezer because of the arbitrary date printed on that item. Now, most items are going to have a BB date. Most often, that's what they will have now, Best Buy. Or they may have the older thing called Use Buy. Or some notification like that to you. What does that mean? Okay, so it's no different than over-the-counter meds that will have an expiration date. And if you're a longtime listener to me, you know that the military did a study that found that the date put on over-the-counter meds normally is completely arbitrary and that the meds keep the overwhelming amount of their efficacy, I think is the right term, or potency, way beyond the date that's listed as the expiration date on an over-the-counter med. Well, same thing with food. You know, the Best Buy or whatever, that is a made-up date by the food manufacturer. And if it says that, it means that it will be good for a good while longer. And there's no reason to throw it out. I mean, I saw a New York Times food science writer's story listing a lot of foods by food group and showing that those items that have these dates on them actually are good for years and years and years and years, and we throw them out anyway because it says their past date. So the food expiration guide that we have on Clark.com, some help from Consumer Reports on ours, um, takes you through the different lingo that a food manufacturer or a supermarket will put on food items and when you need to pay attention to it and when you don't. So there are some items that, yeah, you need to pay attention to. But as an example, okay, milk. Milk is, dairy is one of those things people freak out about, or yogurt. So, I'll open a yogurt that's expired weeks before and stir the thing up, taste it. Uh, okay, I hope I'm not freaking you out, but I am a little thrifty. I'll taste it. If it tastes fine, I eat the thing. Milk? Milk smells bad. I don't use it past the date. But if it still smells fine, I use the milk. Now, a lot of people won't do any of the things I'm saying with dairy. Dairy is one of those things that terrifies people using past date. You'll have to make your own choice on that. But things like uh, dairy products will have an expiration date on them instead of a use by or best by date, typically. The items, most of what we buy, we won't even get into the controversy about can you believe Clark's that stupid that he eats a yogurt past the date on it? And I do eat yogurt past the date. Sorry. Anyway, but most other items, if they're Best Buy or used by or whatever, they got to be bad before I'm throwing them away. Now, I had a product from Lidl that was a um, bread kind of product, and I realized, uh-oh, it's a month past uh, its pull date, its best buy date. Best if, That one, I think, said best if used by. It was a month later. And so took a bite, and I'm like, is this going to be okay? I looked on it first, made sure there was no mold on it. It was absolutely fine. And I ate the items till we finished the pack. It was a bread-like substance. <laughs> Bread like okay, so Lidl sells. <laughs> oh I can my explain. Gosh, Clark. <laughs> All right, Lidl sells these uh, prepackaged waffles. Okay. That are 
uh, if you're in a hurry for breakfast, you're running out the door or whatever, um, and they they get bad after a while. They'll get hard. You don't want to eat them. But these were a month out of their date, and they were still absolutely fine. Okay. <laughs> Krista. <laughs> Okay, this so fine. what you I don't could wanna, not no, no, see... No. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> well, the yogurt, you were you were cringing. Well, no, I agree with you. Like, you can tell usually with dairy if it's gone bad. So, and we eat cheese that actually has mold on it on purpose, right? Sometimes, moldy cheeses. That's one I have not done. Oh. Not done that. But the point is, a lot of this is just marketing. To get you to throw something out so you buy new and remember, it's your wallet, it's your money, and really be thoughtful about when you throw something away and when you don't. Um, we were talking earlier about the Ben stores, salvage stores. There are a lot of people who specifically look for the clearance items on a lot of foods they know have good life on them after their sell-by date, because some items will be marked sell-by date, and the stores will mark them way down and that's how they save money in the store buying food items. 